going to show you how you can use frame events to trigger any sort of action in scripting at a particular frame of animation while it's playing back. So in this example, I'm going to play a sound during a particular frame of animation. So this character is going to walk, and when his feet hit the floor, it will play a different sound for each foot. So let me play it for you. Okay, so how I did that was in the Sprite Factory editor, on this sprite, in his walk animation, on two frames of the walk animation, I set an event string. So the first, the first one happens on, let's see, where is it? His foot hits the floor on frame 1, 0, 1. So you see this event string right here. I, I typed in footstep one. This string can be anything you want, but it's just it's just a string identifier that will allow you to know when this event is playing and and do something based on that that string. So there's one footstep one is on frame zero zero one, and then if we go to frame zero zero nine, there's event string is footstep two. These other frames have no event strings. So we have those two strings are that that's pretty much all there is to it. We just typed in a string there, we saved the sprite, and we created a script which is attached to the sprite, the, the same uh, game object with the sprite component on it. There's a, there's an audio source I added so it can play audio, play sound, and then there's this script I I put on there called SF Demo Footsteps. This is just a very simple script that allowed me to I added two footstep sounds to to a couple of variables here just so we would have something to to play and then let me show you the contents of that uh, script so this this script is extremely simple all all it is is you have this function right here this is the main function that will it, it's on sprite frame start and it receives a a uh, variable of sprite dot frame event type and this this will be called by the sprite every time a frame with a frame event plays so this is it it, it, it uses send message to send a message to all the the components on the sprite and any component that has this on sprite frame start or there's also on sprite frame end any any uh, component that has this that that function will be called during that frame of animation. The frame event here has information about the particular frame event that was played. So in this example, I I check if the frame event animation name is walk, then we then look for the name, the specific string we set up for each footstep. If the event string, frame event dot event string is footstep one, then play step sound one. If the event string is footstep two, play step sound two. This is just one way you could you could do it. You can imagine quite a lot of different ways you can use the event string, but it, but this is a simple example. So let's go back to Unity. Play it again. That's all there is to it.